saying so why not my map okay i can't really raise my voice like i normally do because there's people in bed but um here i am in bed in my foster home because a lot of people don't know it but i'm in a foster home um even when i went into secondary school people were like oh really you're in a foster home since when and i'm like uh since I mean, ever since sixth class, which has been a long time ago, because it's nearly, <coughs> it's nearly the end of first year. I only have about five weeks left in first year. Five now, yeah. And then soon it will be four feet to one. And like, this is random as shit, really. It's just stuff that goes on and on and on and off and on but there's people in my class on about how the best artist in my class did his thing wrong not uh no but did his like drawing wrong and i was like you're talking to the best artist in the class and i actually think he didn't write which I think my teacher said he did, which my teacher is a gymnastics president. No, he's the president. He's not the president. He's the principal of the school, which, yeah. People are like, oh my god, Elton, like, on Facebook. Like, I'll just say this. Okay, someone thinks I am this guy with savage hair on, on Facebook. Um, who I met while I was on Facebook, really, he sent me a friend request, and I was like, uh, okay, so this guy sent me a friend request or something, nothing. Then he soon tells me he's bisexual or something. I became bisexual around when I was at the age of... I don't know, probably 10, probably, I kept it from everyone because I know, I knew, I knew everyone would make jeopardizing comments, and I, I wasn't afraid of the comments, I was just afraid that, you know, if anyone heard or anything or something wrong happened, I could have regretted it, so... I kind of kept quiet until I came into care. So when I came into care, this is random shit. It also is part of my coming out experience. I was in care then. I was still in sixth class. And like, people were like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like, do you think this girl's hot? Where she's in, she, I like her makeup today. People asked me, like, I wore a foundation to school once, in secondary school, and they're like, oh my god, Elton's wearing foundation. They're like, they're, um, they're like, yeah, like, you've never seen a boy in the whole world before put on foundation, or put on mascara, or put on my eyeliner, or any of that. Yeah, okay, you guys on YouTube, everywhere, I do that stuff, and I'm not ashamed of it. Why am I not ashamed of putting on that stuff? Because, I don't know, I'm just not. So, this is Care 101. These, I am going to make a diary of care. And I'll let you guys know what's in my diary. Because in five minutes, i got to tune in to radio so yeah i've got to listen to chris and kira say their i radio say all their random shit like people are like do you listen to the same stuff as us do you walk the way we walk okay i someone asked me i don't know who it was but that one do you walk the way us straight people walk and i was like Dude, it's not like we're different. Well, we are different, but it's not like we're like 
it's not like we're mad in the head basically it's just like we like a different like like there's nothing wrong with that like people are always on about how i say stuff how i am they don't they have to really worry about their own selves because like I had to put this um, like I don't know I just hate the way people go oh yeah this that the other but to me I don't care that's a word I live by in everyday life I don't care and it's something I love saying you know what you may say this shit about me but I don't care and they they go furious when you say that they're like you gotta care because we are bitching about you I don't care solves everything you don't go like oh yeah I'm bitching about this that the other I say just that the other in case people get offended by what I mean because I know people do um YouTube gets really cranky people sometimes. Um, oh, also, people say you shouldn't mention names on YouTube, like my friends, and I'm like, it's my YouTube channel, I'll mention whoever I want on it. But really, I mentioned someone which I deleted a video about, um, because I meant. I, I didn't mention it for a reason because I was getting bullied at the time. And then I was just like, oh my. Okay, and then when I came into secondary school, I realised I shouldn't put the name up. So I deleted it. It's blocked either way. So yeah, it's blocked. Because I shouldn't really be kind of cyberbullying. But I was just like getting my way back even though you didn't have to do it yourself you could have just told someone what else but i'm not that type you know i just they say something about me i will rock the world someday um that may sound weird to straight guys but you know what people like straight guys say that or something but <coughs> like my voice hurts um but what was i talking about um yeah, but, like, those people, were people too, like, how do I put this? Okay, so, people, once upon a time, said gay people were queer because they like other guys. Um, I walk into class today, so that's true. Walk into class, I see another guy, straight guy, shagging another straight guy. And they think a gay guy here on YouTube, flesh and blood. Well, screen and wiring. Um, they think that's weird. And I walk into a classroom with regards to shagging each other. Yeah, I think that's weird. But you know what? I can't judge. They can't judge. But the only thing I don't get is how you can judge me. And then you can judge people who are coloured, who can't see, who can't read who are in wheelchairs, who need help with some stuff. You can judge them people, oh yeah. You can judge me if you want. But, okay, here's what, put all the slag on me. Don't you dare slag any of those people who are in wheelchairs, who cannot read, who cannot see. Don't you dare ever in your life slag any of them, because they are human beings, and... I stick up for them people because I know damn well in my heart and soul that I have to because they are the people I would love to be best friends with. Like I won't mind running around playing basketball with one of those. Like and people use the word retard which I it means disabled but I don't like when people use that word. And then people slag those off, okay? But here's what, you can link in your comment below what you think about me. But don't you dare ever, 
ever say stuff about people in wheelchairs, like, or any of that. People with disabilities are not able to do stuff. I, I have eczema, I got slagged off about that. Because my skin isn't matching the others. So what, uh, I may have dead skin cells, so do you. When you're a baby, you have eczema. Every, well, 99% of the people actually have eczema when they're babies. Because only a good few, or, yeah, well, I say a good few because there's a good few thousand in the world, but, or, a lot, but, like, yeah, I guess, like, off about that, you know, random shit like that happens, but I just don't like the way people say stuff about, I don't like the way people are racist towards people, other people, people like me, people like one of my friends who are coloured, because I actually, colour people, like, so what, different colour on their skin, it's not gonna harm anyone, it's just they're normal people, and that's the same with, like, people who are on crutches, or who can't walk, or who got, like, their hand chopped off in a Vietnam War or something, I respect those people. Because they are getting through everyday life with that. For me, I don't know half of it. You don't know half of what they're going through every day in life. But you know what? It's time we better open up our eyes, people. That's all I gotta say for Dilt and Chastel tonight. But really, open up your eyes, open up your hearts to people. Because we're not getting any younger in this world. We have life to go to. So, yeah. Yeah, good night. Goodbye.